Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ondrej Hladík from Beldate. I have a webinar for today about Beldate front, front-end extensibility using uh, client API and Beldate extensions. So, uh, this is uh, like a schedule for today. Uh, at start I will tell you uh, what what the client API is, how it works. Then we will move to extensions which use the client API and I will tell you what it is, how to use it and show, we show you some examples. And then I will talk you through of how to create a custom chart in Beldat extensions. Uh, I will go through the whole process so we will start from a Beldati view in a report, some built-in chart and from there, from there we will go to how to develop a custom chart and then integrate it in Beldati report. Then we will see how, how we will be with time so maybe I will show some other chart uh, which will be kind of more interesting and then in the end there will be time for questions and answers so you 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 will have, you will you will have a chance to ask me anything you would like to know more or you didn't understand or anything so okay uh, client api uh, client api is an api that is within built like the scope so it works like the user in the browser he lo logs in and you uh, he's logged in so you d you don't have to implement any authentication like with for example rest api so all you are developing is front front end you are using javascript jquery and so and so you don't have to worry about authentication you can extend front you extend front end functions okay so client api it provides you with endpoints uh, these endpoints cover all major beldati comp comp components so you have user api Yes. So you have user API. Uh, with this, you can re retrieve the uh, currently signed user, and also you can retrieve details about this user. So with these these information you can uh, you can build on this information. So you can create this information in your custom front end uh, component or application. Next, there is dataset API. So again, you can uh, load information about datasets and use this information to uh, to again create some front end. Uh, so I'll show you an example. This is. This is a list of all data sets that are within Beldati and this is a default how it looks. So with the client API you can you can basically get all the information that are displayed here but you can display them in other way I would say kind of how, how you would like it you know more visually enhanced or something. Okay, uh, and then there is report API, which I think is the most interesting because you can get all basic information about the report, but mainly you can get information about a chart. You can get uh, a response from a chart in JSON. So this JSON you can later use as as a as a source for your custom chart for example that which I will show you later 
Uh, you can also add comments or remove comments via this uh, report API so you can implement your custom chat or comment. Okay, so then there is dashboard API which uh, is again more like you can list all dashboards so we can visualize them anywhere and then there is folder API so it's again just you know the list of all folders and now I will move to extensions. Extensions are the main component of Bell.ti that uh, uses the client API and provides you with uh, uh, easy development of custom front-end functions using, uh, as I mentioned before, client API. So uh, extensions, uh, they have three types. Uh, you can basically create a new page which means that you start with a blank page however you the uh, you need to the user to be logged in so he logs into Beldati and you can provide him some link that will redirect him to this new page and as I said again the new page is blank so you can create there anything you want so mainly it might be I'll show you an example. Uh, it might be a custom custom chart like this. This is, as I said, it's it. This was a blank page, and what was done is this. There is some custom vis visualization of a JSON response from the chart that was made to look like this. So this is a blank page, and. Yes, this was like create a new page, so you can create a ch custom chart in this page and then, for example, embed it as an iframe to a Belladati report, so it looks like it, it just, it's, it looks like, it looks like, the, like it's a standard chart, you know, it doesn't, yeah, and also there, you can, in this, kind of a blank page you can create well I would say maybe a single page application this is kind of uh, this is not as complicated this example but uh, you are you're not limited to one page so uh, this is again it started at one blank page and you can see that there are some custom visualizations like a value and then you can navigate to uh, I would say other views and you can see that there are charts from Beldati and they are not in you don't see the standard Beldati parts so you can see that uh, you can in the extensions you can create uh, anything independent on Beldati frontend so you're not limited by the look of Beldati that is as it is now uh, okay, now this was uh, like you can create a new page. Then you can modify existing page. Uh, there are there are three there are three uh, three places that you can uh, modify for now. It is uh, data sets. So this page. So you can take this page and modify it. So again, you can using the dataset API get all these informations that are displayed here and visualize them in some way you want to. Then there is a custom login page, uh, which provides you with, so you create an extension and then you can in your application you can quite easily uh, using mainly CSS create this login page so you can uh, make it unique for your domain or application. Now the third one is custom navigation. 
and uh, that means that you can create yes you can create a custom menu so for example here there is a menu on the top of the page which is not there in build data by default so you can create this menu and how this menu this this exact menu was created is that in reports you have an option to assign a tag to a report so you can see that there is tag wealth in these two reports okay and uh, using JavaScript in that extension you can get all reports that have this tag and these reports will be shown in this menu so you can uh, so you can make this easy, easy navigation for example for some I would say uh, analytics app let's say okay and yeah that's for the types and uh, I will now move on to uh, creation of custom chart. Uh, this is I will guide you through the start how it is how it can be achieved. So in the beginning, you you have a data set, you have some data which you will want to later later visualize. Now. Uh, in this example, I will show you how to create uh, this one kind of, uh, uh, I would say maybe speedometer, you know. So it will it will display only one numerical value, which will be from 0 to 100 displaying percents. So uh, here I have created data sets and I will create one indicator that will hold the value that I will later visualize now I will add some value that will have to be visualized later okay so I have that now I have the data now I will create a report and in this report I will create a standard uh, build data uh, standard chart it will be a, a speedometer chart and you can see that it displays the value that I have uh, typed in the data. So there is the value of 56. And now there is this visualization. And I would like to I would like to make a custom chart from this, some custom visualization. And what we did now, uh, it was in the previous release we, we added an option in your user profile in appearance settings you can uh, enable developer mode okay sorry I will just find the report and yes and so when in a, when the developer mode is enabled you can see api icon it is in in it is in each of the view or you can see it in list of reports or dashboards so you can get details about a report a data set a user and what it tells you it tells you the API response about this about this chart or report data sets user and what is kind of cool is that you have the here API request so this this chart the speedometer chart that displays one value it has some unique ID and so here you can see a ready-made uh, jQuery Ajax call to this to this uh, uh, report view. So if I would just take this and paste it in developer console, uh, 
Uh, yes. Okay, so I have just pasted this API request, this ready-made request, and I can see that there's the JSON response from Beldate that you can use for to visualize the data. Now, uh, each shard has different structure, so uh, you have to kind of uh, you have to get to the value. But you can see here that the value is there, so it's in data elements values value, and so this time I would you know like. Uh, I would get this value by taking the path to this and then later visualize it. Uh, I'll show you it's uh, it should be uh, here. So you will take this You'll take that, uh, yes, there it is. Uh, here is the Ajax that now is automatically created, so you don't have to look for the view, view ID. And there you can see the path to the value in this, in the speedometer chart. So, in you, in, you can see that it assigns the value to variable value. And now you have the value and you, you want to visualize it. So in this example, uh, there is created some kind of a speedometer uh, in HTML5 canvas. So here is, it is wrapped in a fu function, which is all this and so the function takes some parameters as canvas ID, which is uh, on your page uh, that you have created. View ID, that, that's the view ID you get from the Ajax call and some color and background colors, which you can also get from Beldate or you can specify by yourself. And this is just some implementation of how, how it is how it is. So this is all about the chart. There is how you load the one value. And here is like the exact uh, exact implementation of how the chart is rendered. So there is some draw, so uh, it is that you render it in one second and it will take this steps you know for the value so it creates kind of like an animation effect so I think that would be all for this first chart and uh, uh, I'm not sure about the time I will maybe so show you just a start for the second chart so uh, this is, uh, it's called circle tree maps and it displays nested data. So we have now some customer segments and the customers in these segments use some products and the sum of the consumption of this product is this larger circle and now there are, the customers are divided in five segments and you can see uh, how they how the how each segment uses different services and it is also like colored for so you can see here home internet is blue here also so you can see that here is segment two and segment five so you can kind of get the idea and how this is created is you Again, you have some data and you create a standard chart in Beldate. This is uh, for, this is a radial chart. Now, 
uh, for this chart to be created, uh, again, uh, each chart maybe needs some, uh, you know, well, from the beginning, you, you have some idea what to create, but uh, in Build Data there is a limited kind of offer of uh, charts that can you provide some data. So you, get, you have to find the right one for you. And this one is, for example, good for nested data. So you have to, you have to investigate the JSON response and from that you can you have to evaluate if this is the good good chart for you that you will you will that you will use for the for your project. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I will show you anything more about this chart. Uh, I'll, I'll go to extensions and uh, show you how show you the whole uh, the code for for the for uh, this chart so uh, this chart uh, it uses the 3js uh, again in the extensions you can you can use any JavaScript library you'd like to. So you can use, for example, B3.js, you can use uh, uh, 3.js, which is uh, OpenGL for web. So you can create a 3D, yeah, like three-dimensional vi visualization in your well data applications. I'll just tell you more about the extensions. Uh, this is an extension you have here uh, to to box boxes first is uh, first this code that is appended to HTML head so you will paste their styles that you want your extensions to have uh, you can have here a source to external JavaScript and there this this will be appended to HTML head and this will be appended to HTML body so you will have your HTML code and scripts, for example. Now, in extensions, you can also upload text and binary resources, so you don't have to externally externally link to, for example, JavaScript libraries. So you can download them and upload them here. Now, uh, Yes, you have also some parameters. Uh, which kind of helps you with, I don't know, transitioning of these extensions in domains or some environments. Because uh, if you have an ex extension, you can can first you can ex you can download the extension in a zip zip file and you can import it so if you have one domain and you have created an extension there you can you can import it in another domain and now these parameters allows you to kind of fix the environment problems because in you that if you have in one domain, if you have reported with this ID, uh, in other domain, if you have the same report, it will ha have it will have another it, it will have another ID. So you create a, a parameter like this, and so for this example, uh, for this example, it would be like this you would paste the parameter in the code like this and then you would export this extension and in this new environment you will just change this value to the ID of a new chart view. So 
half and bits or for extensions on how they work. Uh, also, I would like to tell that uh, this webinar will appear on YouTube uh, and Yuku, so you, you will have a chance to rewatch it. And I will add there some links to uh, to documentations, so you can look at the examples that I have shown you and even more. Thank you for attending this webinar. Uh, so have a nice day. <laughs> Bye.